Hi, Dan Chenard with Earth Friendly Building Materials and EF Block. Uh, we're a family owned business, my wife and I. I've been contracting since 1969 with my father. I took over the business in 1975. In 1989, we went into a recession, had a bunch of carpenters going and really nothing to do. At that point, I started researching green building materials and I found a product then that is much, much better than stick frame or concrete block. It's a 5R fire rated, bug proof, sound proof, R40 wall system. The block are 10 inches thick, 12 inches high, and 5 foot long. They're made of post-consumer recycled styrofoam. So instead of throwing this in the landfill and being buried forever, we grind it up, mix it with Portland cement, some other green additives, and make a brand new building block. EF block goes up quicker than stick frame. You just stack it up, dry stack it, check it for plumb, uh, spot glue it together with minimum expansion high adhesive uh, urethane foam, drop in the rebar and fill it with concrete. This styrofoam here represents the grouted cells that goes in the EF block. EF block is also bulletproof. Uh, we've shot it with several different uh, firearms and the bullets don't go through it. Uh, we've done everything from schools, churches, medical centers, uh, a McDonald's restaurant. EF block can be used for walls, it can be used for uh, retaining walls, screen walls. Uh, you can cut it, carve it, shape it. It works great for Santa Fe territorial type homes or you can put corner aid on it and make the crispest, contemporary, clean, neat, straight looking home or commercial building. We did a medical center for Sandra Dale O'Connor's son Scott in Chandler. We have another customer in, in uh, Lehigh, Arizona, who added 400 square feet to the west side of his home. After he got the building done and started living in it, his first utility bill was $100 less by adding the 400 square feet. Termites don't eat it, fire can't destroy it, it's an R40, uh, it's just a super, super product. An EF lock is virtually tornado proof. We survived the tornado in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Uh, I went down there and I just couldn't believe the destruction. All we lost was a little bit of roofing off it. The house withstood it. Also, uh, we've done some testing uh, with the air cannon. We shot a two by four, 10 foot long at 100 miles an hour at our block wall. And it literally bounced right off and, and didn't penetrate the wall. We recycle for a lot of different people. Maricopa County Health, the Veterans Administration, Arizona State University. Uh, we recycle, we have a band in front of our shop that just people bring by and fill it up daily. Uh, we also recycle for uh, spa manufacturers, the spa covers that you put on top of your spas to keep them warm in the winter. Also in home entertainment centers, they bring us truckloads a week. There is so much styrofoam out there that's still going into the landfill, it's absolutely crazy. And we want to be the ones to recycle it and make brand new building block out of it. Earth Friendly Building Materials is a family owned company. My daughter Lindsay, you can see her standing here holding a block over her head. Uh, the block are again 5 foot long, 10 inches thick, 12 inches high and weigh 47 pounds apiece. Easily one man can take it, handle it and stack it. It goes up so much faster than concrete block because you're putting up 5 square feet every time you lay a block. EF block can be coated with virtually anything. You can put stucco right over the block. You can put wood siding over it. You can put stucco on the inside and create some more thermal mass. That way when your air conditioning unit is kicking on, there's something storing that energy and you're not just cooling the air. If you Google EF block YouTube, you can see all these different projects that we've done and, and how the product goes up and how much easier it is to use. And we also touch on the sustainability and how much styrofoam we actually recycle. We're the number one recycler of styrofoam in Arizona. I want to be the number one recycler in the U.S. and possibly the whole entire world.